Do you know the two primary issues for outdoor POEIB camera is the search and waterproof? The search is in, exists in the environment. I know the possibility to get hit by lightning is quite rare. But the cable could observe the search from the environment pretty easy, especially when you have a long distance cable between your camera and the POE switch. This is the couple cable, so it could pick up the search. And so now, where to add the search protector? Next to the camera or next to the switch? People told me they already have the AC search protector protecting the power from the AC outlet, but it may doesn't help. Imagine if the search just pick up at the middle, the search can go either way to the direction whichever is close to the ground. Technically, we should add the search on the camera and also close to your POE switch. So here I would like to recommend you at least install a search protector at least close to your camera. You don't want to deal with the camera outside while something go wrong. Right here we got three kind of search protector. This is the outdoor search protector which should install close to the camera. It's the PoE search protector. Let's see how to protect the camera. We should protect, keep everything going to the camera, going through the search protector. Because this is the IP camera, it just needs single internet cable. So as long as the search, the cable going through the search protector, it should be fine. Right? If you what you have is just the DC tel voltage Wi-Fi camera, so basically you only have the power cable connecting to your camera and the signal is going through the Wi-Fi to your router. So in this case, you can, you can use this DC tel voltage search protector. It will be chained to the pigtail of your camera. The power will go in through the search before it goes to your camera. And we also got the indoor search protector. This one is supposed to install close to your POE switch. If you just got multiple port, I mean the camera from different direction, then you can use this tray. So this search protector will be put into the tray. And like this one. So the cable going through the POE switch is going to the search protector and then at the back, at, at, at the rear, it will go into the camera. So in this setup, look at the search from either going to the switch or going to the camera. We got protector protecting the connection. All right, now next, I'm going to make a demonstration to see how to connect this search protector for auto camera. Now after we open the cover, you can see there's two RJ45 ports. This is in which you connect the cable from the POE switch and the out will be linked to the IP camera. So the power and data will go through the search protector before it landing to the camera. So right now first we need to take the cable from the camera and I'm going to cut off the connector. Next, it will pass through the hole and go to the in. That's in and out. And now I'm going to make the crank the RJ45. Just peel the skin. So please bear me, it's going to take a while. And make sure the sequence is right. So if you already knew how to crank the RJ45, you can skip this part. Now I have to string the terminal. And we got this special RJ45. So you can 
pass through. We can do double check the sequence. I think it's right. Okay. Now cut a little bit short. And now using this screen tool. Alright, we got the first one ready. And now I'm going to punch the like int in. It's ready, then you have to fasten the cat for waterproof. And now we got the out, so we need to need to have the new punch code to connect the out to the camera. So the same I'm going to just do cut off the terminal, the big terminal cable so I pass from in to out save my time to make new one I just need one close to the camera so I'm going to make the connector basically the connection is ready for well, we still need new RJ45 to connect to the camera. So still peel the cable and got the right sequence. Now the sequence is right. And the chain the terminal. Now I have to double check the sequence. Okay, it's built right. Now just cut it. And using this crank, All right? It's pretty much. Now just connect back to the camera. There's still ground spot. We have to ground the, this protector. Now I'm here in the camera making a click sound. It should be on live for a few. Just a few seconds. Right now, we're seeing all light. The camera is making the mood, it's zooming in now to get the best focus. Okay, this is the motor drive zoom camera. So, we take a wire to find the best focus. Let's see the camera's live. Alright, if you still want to add the new add the PoE protector close to the switch, we can use this one. It's pretty easier. You just there are still also at in and out. In we're going taking the cable from the PoE switch. In this case, I'm going to take off the cable and just got the punch code and connecting to the in port. Now we got the out. It's going through there. So now both the we got the PoE search potatoes in add to the close to the switch, also close the camera. So if the search just, just pick up at the middle of the cable, it's going to get protection on both sides. Just remind there's a ground spot here. It's going to take a while before we can see the camera on live. Right now, the camera is live. It's just live again. It's going to take a while to get the right focus. That's all. Thanks for hanging out. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. Have a nice day.